This is my mod of the BQH2 Direct Drive Extruder on the Ender 3. Thought, design, and made. A few weeks ago, I have made a review of the BQH2 Extruder, and I find it very uh, interesting. So I have designed and uh, up upgraded my Ender 3 to uh, use the BQH2 Extruder. So another thing I wanted to share with you is the amount of parts that I've removed from, from the machine, which is uh, the hot end, of course. And then there is the shroud, the hot end fan, and the extruder motor itself. So all of these parts, including this small uh, fan duct, they get thrown out and replaced by this very small thing. So, um, I'm not going to discuss about how I designed it. Uh, you will find uh, all the designs in Thingiverse for you to download, and I might be doing a separate video on how I uh, designed it and how I came up with uh, with uh, the design choices I made. So I wanted to talk a bit how my experience is with the prints. So you see a few print samples here, the uh, Iron Man uh, faceplate and also the Boogeyman from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. They came out pretty amazing and this filament is Sunlu uh, Silk PLA which is a bit annoying to print so I have had ups and downs with it and uh, sometimes it gets blobs and uh, this kind of things so in this case it came out pretty good I would say excellent so the boogeyman specifically very nice the texture of uh, the rugs on the uh, on his body are very very detailed so all in all very nice print as well as the Iron Man helmet uh, which came out pretty good. To stress the thing a bit more, I have tested this one, which is, uh, you might recognize the design from Thingiverse. There's a lot of gears moving around, so I wanted to see if this print in place was uh, uh, possible with this design, and apparently it works uh, pretty good. So all in all, I'm very satisfied with the design. I think it works very well, and it is amazingly small. So uh, very, uh, very... Uh, I would say I'm very impressed with uh, the uh, design that Biku managed to uh, come up with. The cable uh, harness is also, you know, I recycled the cable tube and it could be better, but it's still, I would say, better than the original one. There is much more space here and overall I like it uh, more than the previous one. So the way I designed it is pretty simple. So I reuse the same holes in the mounting plate behind here. Uh, to attach this uh, spacer, which is also the mounting plate. I've made two arms that uh, are screwed on the uh, fixing points of the extruder itself. And then there is simple, there, there is also a support here on the corner. And I have also prepared a hole for, uh, for a proximity sensor to do the bed leveling. So I would say it's pretty complete. When it comes to the fun duct, it's, uh, let's say, inspired from the bullseye but it's uh, my own design and I also reused the, the part heat cooling fan. Finally, uh, since this assembly moves the nozzle forwards and actually I think due to the size of this pretty much every mount you will you will find will be moving the nozzle which is sitting very very close to the plate forwards. So how do you overcome that? Well, I found it a bit of a creative idea and I just moved the complete Y-axis forwards. The Y-axis is held in place with two screws, so I just reused one of the two holes of the screw, so I moved the backwards screw to the front and then I designed a spacer to basically clamp um, the extrusion to the Y-axis assembly. And that is it. It's steady enough and it's uh, not impacting the print quality. At the same time, of course, I designed the new position so that the distance between the two nozzles is exactly the distance between the two holes in the in the Y frame. So that's that's about it, and this is basically how I made the design of the support. You can also see in this test uh, the the water cup test that the blowers uh, blow pretty effectively. So also the part cooling fine fun in my opinion uh, works as expected. You might have guessed by now that uh, I'm quite uh, satisfied with this design. I like it very much. I think it's very straightforward to use. Um, the only downside, I would say, is a bit the position of the lever here. I decided to orient it like this so the lever falls behind 
the fan uh, of the uh, part, but uh, that's that's not a big deal uh, for me. It is sturdy enough so that you can move the lever uh, without the need to, um, um, let's say, to uh, wiggle too much with it. So overall, do I recommend it? Yes, I do. At least if you want to go for uh, a direct drive extruder mod that is reasonably cheap because this is probably the cheapest on the market so if you need or if you want to explore the direct uh, drive extrusion this is the way i recommend to go and that concludes it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then uh, you might want to consider subscribing and also smash the bell icon so you can get notifications of my next videos and that's it for today until next time